Good afternoon and welcome to another installment of Sequence 15. The circuit you see before you on the breadboard is called a diode mixer. This is what the RF engineers call it. It is not a mixer in the audio sense of summing two signals. Rather, it combines the frequencies of the two signals. You might call it a frequency mixer in the, in the synthesizer sense. The mixing of the frequencies is done entirely by one component, and that's the diode that the pencil is pointing at there. It's rather hard to see. The active portion of the circuit that's actually doing all the work consists entirely of these passive components here, the two black capacitors and the resistors here. The resistors, these two resistors are serving the purpose of combining the two inputs. The capacitors are isolating DC voltages from the inputs and the outputs. The two diodes here are giving us a, a, a DC offset for the frequency signal that's going into the diode so that we can get that to behave in the nonlinear corner of the diode's response range. The op amp over here is not really a part of the fundamental circuit. Its purpose is just to boost the output level. The first thing we need to do is set the voltage offset that will be applied to the combined signals. This type of diode has a corner of about three tenths of a volt between the full open voltage, which is about 0.65 volts for a silicon diode, and the full cutoff voltage. So we want to set the voltage to be about around half a volt. And we'll turn this pot here until we get it in the range. It's a little touchy because I didn't quite have the right value of pot when I built the circuit. Okay, that's right in the range there. So now we have a voltage offset of about half a volt to DC going into the diode. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to bring the signal in. And for signal generators, I'm using this uh, .com Q106 oscillator. I'm going to turn the sine wave all the way up. And for the other signal, I'm using this Hewlett Packard function generator. I'm not going to bring that in yet. First, I'm going to bring this up until we see over here on the scope that we've got about a, about a little less than a plus or minus a tenth. And you can already see that the nonlinearity of the diode is doing something to the signal.
load mixers are one of the class of circuits that RF engineers use to transform input RF signals down to lower frequencies so they can be processed further because it's difficult for circuits to deal with signals at RF frequencies. Uh, there's a number of different types. This is the simplest one. It's an unbalanced modulator. There's semi-balanced and balanced modulators. The fully balanced modulator actually being what we call a ring modulator, except that in the synth world we don't usually implement the way RF engineers do.